what is good Kinsey Club. Now, I might be talking very quickly because I got a Ziploc bag. You guys are probably like, what the heck you need that for? But I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but I never knew that Ziploc bags were waterproof. And so I tested out this morning. I took a Ziploc bag, put my phone inside of it, recording, and dunked it underwater in the creek. And it stayed running. And it was perfectly fine because my phone's not very, very waterproof. You can probably put it in water for about 30 seconds and that's it. But uh, this thing right here, we're going to get some nice shots. Now, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear me or not, but just bear with me. Let me pause the video, then I'll put the Ziploc bag on, and then I'll record some more. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear me right now, but if you guys cannot hear me, just... Uh, Bear with me for a minute because uh, I know the quality is probably a lot different, but uh, we are walking down to camp, and uh, if you guys please could turn your phone sideways like that so that you guys could see in the creek. It is actually pretty wet, so... Uh, that might be something else. I'm going to step my bag down right here. Let's get on with it. Okay, there's a few minutes. Let's see if I can get the camera. Okay, I don't know how that was. Are we still recording? Yes, we are. Now uh, we're going up here to where all these bigger menders are. Ooh, tripping. Okay, three, two, Well, how was that, guys? Now, uh, we'll try one more spot, and then I'm going to be done. And I don't know how good the uh, quality is. Here we go again. Okay. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard that heard that or not, but I am very excited to see how that came out. We recorded right there, and I don't know if I got a minnow or not. I recorded right there, and then I recorded up there. I recorded down at the barn, and it wasn't very good, but the only... No! My logs got washed downstream. No! I guess, uh, let me just go, um, throw a few rocks or something in here real fast. Just, like, a few. And then, after that's done, then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, guys. Oh, wow, just slipped on this ginormous rock that had a thick layer of moss on it. I have a spider web that's on my face. Right here's the little bridge. And that'll probably get flooded away, too, but then we have this thing that we can use. Which, uh, will stay there. If we have to use that, I'll reposition it, I guess. But I don't think we'll have to. Walking off the trail. Let me get my bag. I'll show you guys what there is here that I have to, uh, what I have my materials. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. Um, I'm going to clear how to trail. Then I'm going to run down there, see if the uh, rock um, bridge that I have down there is still up. And we'll come back, finish the trail, and then I'll show you guys the trail, and then that's it. But let me get all the tools out on the table here, and then I'll get back to you guys. And, wow. There we go. We have the $2 knife, an $8 knife, a... Uh, Two things of water, 
this like $20 saw and the $10 saw. Now let me go clear out a trail and the, oh, I'm going to pause the video. Oh right, there's a doe. Off oh, my camera will focus. Gosh darn it. She's like right up there. I think she's under a beech tree or something. I don't know if you... Mark. Mark. Yeah, my deer call isn't that good. See her raise her head? Mark. Mark. See, there she is right there. But uh, I will pause the video, clear this trail, and then I'll get back to you guys. Uh, I am sweating, but that didn't take very long. I did not watch that doe. I don't know where she went. This is going to be an awesome logging trail. Like right here. Comes up. Goes up to that tree right there. Turns. Comes up. Turns again. Goes that way. And then like right there is the gun range. It won't take long. I'm just going to. Uh, I check that. The uh, tarp shelter. It is perfect. Like I check the leaves. Like these leaves. They're all wet and stuff. Check the leaves underneath the tarp shelter. Perfectly dry. Like, I'm very happy of what happened this year down at camp. Like, we've gone from just relying off of bad trails to freaking ginormous logging trails like this one. Right here is the uh, bridge. We might have to redo this bridge. And then if you slip or something, you got this tree right here. You can hold on to. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow, that slipped. There's a frog in there somewhere, so maybe we'll find him. But this this used to be deep, and it still kind of is deep. I keep on forgetting, but I need to cut that up. But, uh, yeah, so we did actually rearrange stuff. I was supposed to do the crawfish catch and cook, but I decided not to. I'm doing the uh, logging trail because it's very sunny. And then we're going to do the crawfish Catch, clean, cook. I don't know why I'm walking down the creek. I need to get used to doing that. Going up through there. <sighs> Wonder how many minners are in this hole. I'll stick my phone under for a quick second. See if you guys, you guys see anything? I don't think you guys could. Let me clean up my phone now because it's got water all over. Are you guys good? Are you guys still recording? I think you guys are. Yep, 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 yep. No. No. This is my bridge. All that got washed down was that big rock and that. I'm just going to leave this here because all I need to do is find little rocks like that, put them here. And then put that back there, put that there, and put that there. And then, that's it. That's all I have to do. It is still kind of dammed up just a little bit. Now let me take this trail back. This is a deer trail. So it won't be that, that hard to clean it up. Now I am getting a pit bike soon, and I don't know. Maybe one of these hill climbs right here. I'll make a trail. <laughs> That'd be a heck of a time getting up that. There's a big rock ledge right there into the sun. Jeez. The sun is literally right up there. And it's shining right down in this spot, but not over in there. And then it's glancing through right there. I think if I was to make a hill climb, it'd be right there. So it's still decently hard, but it's not like if, if I fall back down the hill, the pit bike's pretty much done for. Ooh. Now, uh, let's get back to camp. Let's start cutting up trees. Like that one right there. That'd be good. But, uh, I only think that this logging trail is going to take like 30 minutes. At the most. But, uh, I am going to, uh, my mom has to leave for work at like 12.15. And currently it is... 11.51, so, I don't know, I could work at this really, really hard, and I probably will get it done, but then I don't know if I'll have time to show you guys. Here, 
I'm going to get it done. And if I don't have time to show you guys, next video, the crawfish catch and cook, I will show you guys. But I will get back to you guys whenever this log and show is completely finished. Okay, guys. We still have a little bit of time, so maybe if we have time, maybe we'll dig that out. I don't know if I have the shovel down here. But... Yes, the crows are out. I don't think crow season starts until, like, June 14th or something. And it goes through sometimes. But I have I have that wrote down somewhere else. But it starts up here, goes along, comes up this turn. You turn, it's a heck of a hill. And then you go up through here. You walk up through here. And literally it's right there. So I ended the logging trail right here. Why? Because... I didn't think it was necessary because it's a pretty nice trail. Just come down here, sit down. Right there's the uh, cans. No, uh, here, maybe I'll add this to the uh, logging trail. I just, it's just sitting there, so. Bam. Logging trails can get pretty easy. Okay, my mom, she's calling for me. So I'm running. I'm gonna pack up my bags. And I guess I don't have any more time. But next week you guys are gonna see crawfish catch and cook. But uh, I didn't even finish one bottle of water. So today, good day. Now uh, I will see you guys later. You can see club.